Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Around the World in 8 Teams with me, Ladies and Ninja DP. And today we're in the United States of America. And to kick off both of these squad builders, uh, we have an MLS squad for in the 4-3-2-1 formation. You might have seen me use this formation before in the Bundesliga one. But to kick us off in the net, we have Raul Fernandez. He, he, I picked him up for 1,100 coins. I didn't know if that was too much for him or too little. I paid for him. But he was pretty good in the net. He just had one weakness, which was power shots. And if like some long shots did go in by people, but they were really good shots. That's the only thing you were only bad about him. But then in the right back position, we have the LA Galaxy right back. It's Franklin. Franklin was really good. He wasn't that attacking. He was pretty much defensive all the time, which is good because I don't like attacking right backs. But he was really good. But then in centered back, we have Win. This guy's got 93 pace, 55 dribbling, 64 defenses, 73 heading. I paid 10,000 for him. I am struggling selling him at the moment, but seriously, he's having that pace and like the, the attackers, the, like the, um, your opposite, like your opponent, he thinks he's gonna get past you, but then you win just pops up and bow. He's not gonna get past him. And the other centre back we have all of this guy's a monster. He's he's so good in he's so good in defence. It's unreal. And was partnered from the same country. He's Benitez in left back, also from FC Dallas as Fernandez. But they they are good together because you got like the two Amer like two Americans and two Colombians. Like the connection there with the chemistry is brilliant, but then in centre mid we have inform Tim Cahill. He has 66 pace. You might be thinking that's the, that's bad. You don't want 66 pace, but honestly, forget that pace. His shot is magnificent. He has got four star weak foot, three star skill moves. Paid 11,500 coins for him. Definitely worth the money, hands down. Definitely worth it. He's just phenomenal. And the other centre centre mid position we have David Beckham. We can't can't leave this guy out of the squad builder. 63 pace, 70 dribbling, 74 shot, 85 passing, 64 defence, and I can't remember what his heading was, I think it was 53 or something like that, but he's phenomenal, his free kicks are wonderful. But then this guy surprised me the most, Osvaldo Alonso, 4 star weak foot, 2 star skill moves, but like, don't forget about the skill moves, he's got a monster of a shot on him, he's magnificent, he's passing, he's moving, he's absolutely brilliant, he just pops up out of nowhere and just blasts a shot, and he's honestly terrific. And then right forward, we have Richards. This guy, um, I thought it was pretty. He's got that for us. Like, oh, might as well use him right for position. Piss everyone out. He is actually phenomenal. I don't think he was worth the eleven thousand. I think he was worth about seven or six that price range. I didn't think he was worth that amount of money, but it was magnificent. But in left forward, Terry Omri, four star weak foot, four star skill moves, seventy seven pace, seventy eight shooting, eighty three dribbling, sixty three heading. That heading seems small, but he's actually really good at it in the air at heading. He's magnificent. I've said that so many times, and you think of a new word. He's brilliant, honestly. He's got that finishing on him. He's top quality. But then we have a team of the season. It is team of the season, Landon Donovan. 90 pace, 82 shot, 85 passing, 83 dribbling, 66 head, 4 star skill, four star weak foot, sorry, and 3 star skill moves. 67,000 I paid for him. The only thing which um, one was wrong with Donovan, he, he weren't like that much, like his attacking rate. Didn't think it was that good because he usually he was up front, but then he came back like he stayed back and let the Omri and Richards do some of the shooting. But thanks, guys. Enjoy these goals. I'll see you on international. Now guys, we move on to the national squad builder of the US of A in the 3-5-2 formation. You know guys, I like using this 3-5-2 mainly because of the midfield, there's a lot of them. And uh, we start off in the net with Tim Howard. He was a really good goalkeeper, he shone through for me, I was like, wow, is he this good? And he was actually played phenomenal. But then in uh, centre back, we have Ugo Ihemlu, 78 pace, 54 dribbling, 67 
defense and 69 headed. I need to get that right. But he's really good. He was really consistent as well. It was like a, like having these guys, they're tanks at the back. Because we have win again. And i got to say, he's just phenomenal. With that page, you just get catch up with every attacker near enough. Nearly enough, everyone. Then we have Herf Pierce in the other centre back position, 68 heading. 68 drip defense, 66 heading. Sorry, and 75 pace as well. So having like the above 70 pace mark in defense is really good to have. And then in the centre defense mission, we have Jeff Cameron from Stoke City. He played really well because he linked up with Dempsey, who I have in left mid, who's all from the Premier League. So having them linking together is really well, really good. And we have Williams in the other centre defense mid position. He played good because he, he um he kept on like after like you got Alonso, Donovan, and. Uh, Altidore up front, he just came back and like waited for the ball to come out of the box and he had a crack at the shot, it was really good. Having Dempsey on the left mid position with his skills, everything else, his weak foot, whipping those balls in was brilliant. And this guy Gat as well, Joshua Gat, with his 91 pace, 72 dribbling, 64 defence, 65 shots, 64 passing, 64 head. He was really good, he scored a pretty good goal for me, which I'll show you after the squad build. He was like having those on the wings, like Dempsey might not have the pace, but waiting for Dempsey, like doing his skill, gets up there and whips those balls in for Donovan Maltado, it was just magnificent. And I got Alonso again in the centre attacking mid position. He played so much better in the squad, in the national squad, than he did in the MLS squad for some reason. I was like, whoa, he's playing even better. He played like he, his passes were better. He, he did some better. He, like his shots were amazing. Everything else, but then in the other striker position, in the striker position, we have Altidore. I think he's called it, what is it or Jazzy Altidore. I think 77 pace, 80 shot, 73 dribbling, 84 head, four star weak foot, three star skill moves. I did pick him up for 19,000 because I thought it was pretty cheap. But he was actually amazing. He didn't. He had a. He had some good chances at goal, but he mainly set him up for Donovan Alonso, which I thought having like one attacking one attacker doing that and then setting up for my team this season Donovan was absolutely magnificent. Donovan is actually out of this world. Like I said before, he's definitely worth the money. I bet you could pick him around for like fifty, sixty thousand coins now. He is absolutely magnificent. This team was actually brilliant to play with all together. You guys should try it out. Maybe make some few tweaks around the centre defence mid. And pick some different ones up. So, guys, hope you enjoy this squad builder and enjoy these goals afterwards. I'll see you next time in Italia. Mm -hmm.